Does everybody know what time it is? Tool time! That's right, now here he is, the star of the show, Tim, the Tool Man Taylor! <laughs> Welcome to Security Week here on Tootle Time. You all know me. I'm Tim, the secure man, Taylor. My assistant, Al, I want my blankie Borland. <laughs> I'd respond to that, but I don't need to because I'm very secure with who I am. Well, you shouldn't be. Okay. <coughs> now, folks, Tool Time isn't just about home improvement. It's also about protecting that home you have improved. That's right. And a good place to start is with the proper locks. Now, there are all types of locks. Chain locks, garter locks, uh, deadbolt locks. My favorite, bagelin locks. Yeah. <laughs> I go with the Nova Scotia locks. Al likes the belly locks. But remember, a little locks goes a long way. <laughs> well, we also have a home security system. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Now, there burglar, are... burglar systems are fine, but when do we get to the, the high-energy surveillance equipment? Huh? Heidi, the high-energy surveillance equipment, please. <laughs> Look at this stuff. Small surveillance cameras, infrared scopes, pocket bug detectors. Tim, we're talking home security, not cracking an international spy ring. Yeah, but now with this stuff, you got the option. Now, a must on the shopping list for the do-it-yourself spy is the bionic ear. With this device, you can pick up conversations a long way away. Watch. Maurice, qu'est-ce que tu as pensé de tout time? <laughs> And you're expecting me to believe that they watch Tool Time in France. Well, not anymore. You heard what Maurice said about you. <laughs> All right, now it's time for the night vision goggles. Night vision goggles? <laughs> These bad boys. You can walk around pitch black, pick out a burglar, and you'll never whiz wide of the bowl again. What these things do is great, is, is, is amplify existing light like 2,000 times, just by flicking the switch. No! Oh! <laughs> just like looking into the surface of the sun, isn't it? Come over here, Al, over here. Actually, these are, these are designed for using when it's totally dark. Uh, Heidi, make it totally dark, please. I'll just switch mine on. There. Wow. Oh, well, now mine aren't working. <laughs> I'll just adjust. Let me grab a screwdriver out of your tool belt here. Tim, yeah? that's not my screwdriver. Meals for the Busy Woman. Oh. You should try the spaghetti sauce to know what you think of it. All right. Mm. Maybe if you throw the book in the pot, it might give it some flavor. Ooh. Oh, well. Tim and the boys are just going to have to put up with it until all my finals are over with. Hey, guys. Oh, hi. Hey, anyway, I just don't have time to do the cooking the way I usually do. Now, there's some good news. <laughs> Wait till he sees the new book I got. Five-minute lovemaking. What are we going to do with the other three minutes? Hey, guys, guess what? Barry Hudson put his newspaper out. I mean, hey. Now I won't need the ladder to get the newspaper off the roof. I don't know. I don't mind climbing up on the roof every day to get our paper. That way, I don't have to spring for a Stairmaster. <laughs> I'll see you guys later, huh? Oh, bye. Well, Barry talked to the newspaper, and they said if I want the job, I can take it. 
Great. There's nothing like a challenge without someone mature. You gotta get your father a paper route. <laughs> I've had a paper route. It's the kind of job that turns a boy into a man. So I can take it? Absolutely. Yes. Not so fast. Not so fast. <laughs> Why not so fast? Well, Brad, you have a lot more schoolwork this year. You've got band, basketball, a girlfriend. Don't you think you're taking on too much? Well, I know it's a lot, but Mom, I can handle it. What is it? What does it pay? Seventy-five bucks a week. Seventy-five dollars a week. <laughs> You're going to have to be getting up at the crack of dawn when it's like seven below outside. I can do it. That's right. It's good to push him a little bit. Besides, getting up at five o'clock and put hair in your chest. Which is why you don't see too many newspaper girls. <laughs> and, Mom, I promise I won't fall behind on anything. I'll clean my room, and I'll even practice my saxophone for two hours a night. You don't do that now. <laughs> We've talked about giving the boys more responsibility. I think this falls in that category. Well, okay, I have my doubts, but if that's the way you see it, Tim, all right. All right. Uh -huh. Now, the minute that your schoolwork starts to suffer, the job is over. It's a deal. That's right. Well, I think I see a chest hair sprouting. Nope. Navel limp. <laughs> hey, Jill. I know you're under the gun with your fines, so I made you some lasagna. You cooked for me? That is so sweet. I figured if I didn't, you might have a five-minute marriage. <laughs> I don't know how to thank you. Well, don't worry about it. If you become a psychologist, you can give me a discount on therapy. For you, three neuroses for the price of one. Huh. Then I just have to figure out what to do with my other 27 neuroses. <laughs> I want to try it. Here you go. Let me see. Oh, so good. Oh, thanks. Hey, you know, Brad is doing really great with his job. You know, I had my doubts, but it's going really well. You're not kidding. His throw is so accurate. All I have to do is open the door and it paper hits Joe right in the head. <laughs> Come to think of it, it saves me the trouble. Hello, Marie. Hi. Hey, Tim. Hi. Something smells great. You order out again? <laughs> no, Marie knew how busy I was, and look. She cooked us dinner. Ah, looks like lasagna. It smells like lasagna. Hmm. Important here. Her lasagna tastes like lasagna. can't. I'm way behind. But I've got this paper on the Franco-Prussian War due tomorrow. Well, what do you have so far? The Franco-Prussian War was. <laughs> That's it? Yeah, and I copied that out of the encyclopedia. <laughs> well, you know, if you make the margins wider, it might make it seem longer. I'm gonna have to stay up all night to finish this. Oh, this job's gonna kill me. If it does, can I have my room back? <laughs> this job's so tough. I mean, why don't you just quit? I can't. I already told Mom and Dad that I can handle it. I gotta show them that I'm up to the challenge like a real man. 
Well, if you keep on handing in papers like this, you're going to be the only real man still stuck in the eighth grade. <laughs> How did I get myself into this? I'm behind in everything. I don't know. Maybe I should just tell him the truth. I think you're gonna have to, even though it does go against everything I believe in. <laughs> hey, guys. Bye, Dad. So, how's my junior breadwinner doing? I'm tired. Every bone in my body aches. I can't see straight. Yeah, welcome to the working world, huh? <laughs> I'm real proud of you. That's why I did this. You framed my first paycheck? No, I permaplacked it. <laughs> that baby would be in there forever. How am I supposed to cash it? <laughs> you make an interesting point. I'll, I'll just give you the cash. About the job. Ah, oh, yeah, I love the job. Your mom didn't think you could handle it, but we proved her wrong. I need to talk to you about that. I'm not so sure I can handle it. Oh, what are you talking about? Sure you can handle it. Dad, it's really tough. Yeah. I'm thinking that maybe I should just quit. Hey, 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 hey. I don't hear the word I quit. Gentlemen, don't quit. I never quit a job in my life. I know, but I'm... S I... You took on the responsibility. I stood up for you. You gotta follow this thing through, Brad. You really do. But Dad, I've got so much going on oh, right now. Oh, come on! Every job's tough to start out with. You'll pull through. Come on, buddy. But I can't keep up with everything. Yes, you else. can. Look, you're already doing your studies. Look at this. What? You, um, look, the Franco-Prussian War was. That's already more than I know, right there. <laughs> <laughs> but Russia's not spelled with a P, my friend. <laughs> that says Prussian. <laughs> <laughs> Tell him I'm not hungry. I'm trying to finish this paper and do my math homework at the same time. The Franco-Prussian War was fought in the year 1870 minus the square root of 113. <laughs> oh, man, how could I have done that? I'm never going to get this paper in. My teacher only gave me an extension till tomorrow. I'm dead. I'm going to be even dead when Mom sees a mess in your room. Whoa. This place is disgusting. I like it. You know, Brad, we got a big problem. But maybe we can help. How? Well, I can do your homework, and uh, Mark here will clean your room. Uh, no, I won't. Mark, we're brothers. Brothers do things for each other. No, we don't. <laughs> For money, we do. <laughs> how much do I have to pay you? Well, it depends on how well you want to do. <laughs> Ten bucks for an A, five bucks for a B, and two dollars for handling. What's handling supposed to mean? Well, after I finish it, I have to hand it to you. <laughs> well, let's see what Marie made us for dinner tonight. Could it be lamb stew? Honey, would you be offended if I asked Marie to move in with us? No, not at all. She can move in as soon as you move out. Marie, you want to taste what we're having for dinner tonight? I'm not that hungry. Marie made it. I'm starving. You know, as soon as these finals are over, I'm going to be back there behind that stove. Don't say that. Not even joking. Um, I gotta go right back. Wait, wait, wait. Did the teacher grade that paper on the Franco-Prussian War? Yeah. <laughs> Let me see it. It's the red folder. Brad, you got an A! All right! <laughs> what are you so happy about? Can't a guy be happy for his brother? <laughs> I gotta go.
Well, uh, don't you need a ride? No, Eddie's mom's gonna take me. Okay, see you later. Okay, bye. Bye. This is great. He's handling this all very well. He's doing his job real good. Getting an A on that Franco-American SpaghettiO thing. <laughs> Wait a minute, listen to this. Does war bring out the worst in men, or is it the worst in men that brings on war? Oh, oh, oh. That's good. No wonder you get an A. <laughs> that is the exact same opening sentence that Randy used on his paper about the Civil War. What are you suggesting? Brad wrote Randy's paper. <laughs> Close, but completely wrong. Randy wrote this paper. Why would Randy write a paper for well, Brad? I don't know. Hey, wait, Mark. What are you doing emptying Brad's trash can? Um, it used to be mine. Oh, I see. So you missed it, and you're just emptying it for old time's sake. Exactly. Yeah, right. Get your can back down over here. <laughs> I didn't do anything. Are you cleaning Brad's room? Brad's room? Mark, you're in a difficult position. On the one hand, you want to be loyal to Brad. On the other hand, we pay your allowance. My allowance? And you're repeating everything we say. And don't repeat that. It can only mean one thing. Yeah? Brad pays him more than we do. No. <laughs> Mark, come on. We want to know what is going on. Brad couldn't handle the job, so he paid me to do his chores. And Randy to do his homework? You didn't hear that from me. If he's having such a problem, then why didn't you just come to us? He said he had to show you that he was up to the challenge, like a real man. Oh, Tim. What? <laughs> You're the one that told him he could do it. Me? Yeah. I believe the exact words were, I have my doubts, but if you say so, Tim. <laughs> Pull up like that. I'll go over by the gazebo. Can you hear me? Loud and clear, audio neighbor. <laughs> this is great. Two guys talking over a distance. Somebody should have invented this years ago, huh? Well, I believe they did, Tim. It's called the telephone. <laughs> I could have used this to snoop on Brad. I would have realized that Randy was doing his homework and Mark was acting like his maid. Well, how did that come about? He hired his brothers because he couldn't do the paper out in the school at the same time. It's too much for him. If he was having a problem, I wonder why he just didn't come and tell me. It's hard for a boy to come to his father and expose his fallibility. Oh, it's not like I haven't seen the kid in the shower before. <laughs> no, 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 Tim. What I meant was, did you have any indications that Brad was having difficulties? No. He said uh, he was tired. The, the, it was becoming a lot of work. He wanted to quit. But other than that, the kid was... <laughs> So obviously he did come to you. Maybe you just had trouble hearing what he had to say. But truth is, I probably wouldn't hurt him no matter what he said. Well, why not? I was so excited about him having that job. I just kept pushing him and pushing him, you know. I just want my kids to be great. Tim, it's not unusual for a father to want his son to succeed. You know, I'm reminded of what Wally Shira, the astronaut, said. You don't raise heroes, you raise sons. But if you treat them as sons, they'll turn out to be heroes even if it's just in your own eyes. That did push him way too far. But it wasn't on purpose. I know. Thanks for lending me your ear. Mm -hmm. Tim? Yeah. Thanks for lending me yours. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Dad. Hello, Brad. You having dinner with us tonight? Yeah, I'll be done in one second. I'm just gonna take my sacks up to my room. I think your room's about done. Last I saw, Mark was putting a mint on your pillow. <laughs> so I guess you noticed Mark was cleaning my room. Yes, I noticed. Hey, I gotta admit, I was pretty surprised when he actually volunteered to do it. Must have been downright amazed when Randy volunteered to do your homework. I didn't even know how to get out of it. It's all right, it's all right. A lot of it's my fault. When I was pushing to do this, I didn't even listen to you when you were telling me that you didn't want to. I really want to show you that I could handle it. 
I'm reminded of what the, the, the great astronaut Wally Cleaver said. <laughs> you can't expect your son to do his homework and eat a footlong hero without Prussian dress. <laughs> what? You're one terrific kid. I'm real proud of you for trying this. But the rest of this week, I want you to concentrate on your homework. And I'll take your two employees, and we'll finish out the week so you get a full paycheck. Thanks, Dad. You know, son, the reason I was doing this, I got so into this, because when I had a paper out, it was really important to me. Well, how come? It was the first job I had after my dad died, and I, I had the job to show my mom I could shoulder some responsibility and not be just a goof-off like my other brothers. Yeah, and I'm sure you didn't quit your first paper route. No, I didn't. See? I was fired. <laughs> Why were you fired? I was trying to make it fun and expedite at the same time, you know, so I got a compressed air gun that would shoot the paper. <laughs> and I never got telemetry down, which is angle of attack. I'd get some... I'd go, I'd get him... I mean, I'd, I never got him anywhere near the damn port. <laughs> Would've made a lot more money if I knew how to repair a window back then. Go out there. <laughs> Collections. We got 20, 40, 50, 55, 60. Oh, I'm supposed to have 75. You were docked for the windows you broke. I didn't break any windows. Technically, it was your bike, your route, done by somebody with your last name. Dad! I'm good for the 15 bucks. You also ran over a cat's tail and you were slapped silly by some old woman. <laughs> Anymore? Yes, it does. I am going to be making a Swiss steak in a marinade. Uh, some lovely scalloped potatoes, and I got a new idea. Watch I found. You guys hungry? You guys? 